actually, T1 depends on tissue composition, structure, and surroundings. As we have learned, T1 relaxation has something to do with the exchange of thermal energy, which is handed over from the protons to the surroundings, the lattice. The precessing protons have a magnetic field that constantly changes directions, that constantly fluctuates, according to the Larmor frequency. The lattice also has its own magnetic fields. The protons now want to hand energy over to the lattice to relax. This can be done very effectively when the fluctuations of the magnetic fields in the lattice occur with a frequency that is near the Larmor frequency. When the lattice consists of pure liquid, water, it is difficult for the protons to get rid of their energy as the small water molecules move too rapidly. And as the protons, which are on the higher energy level, cannot hand their energy over to the lattice quickly, they will only slowly go back to their lower energy level, their longitudinal alignment. Thus, it takes a long time for the longitudinal magnetization to show up again. And this means that liquids, water, have long T1s. When the lattice consists of medium-sized molecules, most body tissues can be looked at as liquids containing various sized molecules, kind of like a soup, that move and have fluctuating magnetic fields near the Larmor frequency of the processing protons, energy can be transferred much faster. Thus, T1 is short. This can again be illustrated by our hamburger and race car example. Handing over hamburgers, in other words, energy, from one car, proton, to the other, lattice, is easy and efficient when both move with the same speed. With a difference in speed, the energy transfer will be less efficient. Why does fat have a short T1? The carbon bonds at the ends of the fatty acids have frequencies near the Larmor frequency, thus resulting in effective energy transfer. And why is T1 longer in stronger magnetic fields? As we heard at the beginning, the precession frequency depends on magnetic field strength a relationship described by the Larmor equation. If we have a stronger magnetic field, then the protons precess faster. And when they precess faster, they have more problems handing down their energy to a lattice with more slowly fluctuating magnetic fields. <laughs>